Hello my dear students and welcome back to PW English and I am back with your another issue and that is how to avoid silly mistakes in exam. I know you all want to crack your competitive exam but there is one thing that always pull you back and that are your silly mistakes. You know everyone makes silly mistakes, even toppers makes the silly mistakes. But the only difference is they don't make those mistakes in their main exams. They learn from these mistakes in their test. So we are going to talk about a lot of things today about all these silly mistakes and uh, make sure you listen to each and everything very carefully and today we are going to crack this code about how to avoid the silly mistakes. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is that whenever you are going in your exam you should be in a complete you know calm state of your mind. You should not think about anything that is not relevant to the exam. You know there is only particular hours in exam and you can't waste them on your anxiety or in panicking or on overthinking. The only thing you have to do on your D-Day is that you have to solve the question paper. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to keep calm. You don't have to be this child that you are just crying there, oh I just can't do anything, right? You have to be very calm, you have to be very calm. Alright, I understand the competitive exam, they are, they are very merciless, right? There, there is a huge competition going on and everything is on stake, your one year is on stake, your career is on stake. You have a lot of, uh, you know, your parents have a lot of expectations on you. But this is not the correct time to think about all of these things. You, you know, some students, you know, before even before starting the exam, they start thinking like, oh, what if my exam will not get cleared? This is the stupidest thing to do during the exam. Please don't perform that, right? Keep all these things to think after the exam rather than before it. I always tell my student, if your exam is on particular day, before those, before the exam and even on the exam, don't keep the schedule for all of these things. Rather put it after that, right? So if you'll start thinking uh, prior to the exam or on the day of the exam, then you know, you have to do it for your entire life. Otherwise, if you will stop or you will quit overthinking before the exam or on the day of the exam, you, do, you don't even have to think or you know, you, you don't even have to get sad after the exam because you will perform good in it. So the first thing to keep in mind is to keep calm, is to be very relaxed. Alright, it's quite, you know, obvious, not everyone has that state of mind. But what if, ma'am, we get panicked during exam? We, the first question we saw, we don't know what to do of that. Uh, even, even the 99 questions are very easy and the only one question that we saw that was very difficult and we start doing, you know, getting panicking and all. Then what, we, what should we do? At that particular time, just do one thing and that is start taking deep breaths and start counting them, right? And or another thing that you can do is start counting from 10 to 1 in backward manner like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 but very slowly. And the one thing that always, always work is start taking deep breaths, always. So the first thing that you do is to keep your mind calm is take deep breath. In the exam, take deep breath and count them. You know what happened when you do that? You know what happened when you do that? Your uh, nervous system gets in your hold and your sympathetic nervous system gets suppressed. So this is what they teach in yoga also, right? But there's a scientific, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, logic behind this. So always, always sit in the exam with the, you know, great keep calm mind, fine? All right, next thing. Read the questions very carefully. So now what happened? Sometimes when you are not calm and you are under panic, the first mistake that you make is you don't read the question carefully. For example, I am some student, right? And I am panicking. I am the student, okay? I am the student. Let, let this student be X. So I am X. So Mr. X is under panic. And Mr. X is overthinking. 
So what Mr. X will do at this point? The Mr. X will read when one of the following statement is incorrect with reference to the test tube baby. Oh, so what did Mr. X read? Mr. X read incorrect. But the statement says it is correct. You have to find the correct one. So Mr. X has already lost 4 marks and 1 negative marking. So 5 marks are already gone. Don't be that Mr. X. So what you, what you have to do? Whenever you read the question in your exam, take a pen and start reading it like that. Which one of the following statement is correct? Is correct with reference to test tube baby. Now you know what is the most important things in the question. First the question is from the test tube baby. Second you have to find the correct option. Now start reading them. Right. So again read in the similar manner. Fertilization of the egg is effected in the female genital tract. In the female genital tract. So it is saying in the female genital tract. But in test tube baby the fertilization takes place outside the body. So the statement is incorrect. Let's complete the statement before before going to conclusion complete it. The fertilized egg is taken out and grown in a large test tube. So this is absolutely incorrect. We know that. Second, a prematurely born baby reared in an incubator. No, 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 no. We don't want to uh, do that. Right? We don't want to do that. Premature baby comes accidentally. We are not doing any technique on it. Okay? Fertilization of the egg is affected outside the body. Absolutely correct. In test tube baby, the fertilization always take in vitro. That means outside the body. The fertilized egg is then placed in the worm. Then you take out those embryo or the fertilized egg and put in the female's body. That means in the uterus of the mother where the gestation or pregnancy is completed. Okay, so this statement is absolutely correct with respect to test tube baby. Crossing between two unrelated, it's the part of animal breeding. So, absolutely incorrect. Both the egg and the sperm, they are related. They are of same species. So, answer to this question is C. Now, imagine you are Mr. X. You must have read it incorrect and then you must have answered A and then it was the silly mistake. Fine. So, don't perform this. Try to underline the question. Try to underline the main important points of the question and then move forward. Okay. So, that's the first thing that you have to do. Second, avoid the incorrect conceptualization or preconceived beliefs. Alright. Now, now, this is the most common mistake students make. You know, when you're preparing for the competitive exam, you, have, you already have gone through so much questions. So much practice of question from various books, from various tests that you have a belief that yeah, if this kind of a question is in the exam, yeah, the question must be asking the same thing that we have already done it. No, do not, do not make your own beliefs. Might be the question is asking quite opposite. Then you will be again Mr. X and you will commit the silly mistake. For example, this is a question from 2013. So while practicing, you have solved a previous year question. So in this previous year question, you have to find out the labeling and you have to tell its characteristic feature. Okay, find out what the part is and the feature. Simple question. Now you are in the neat exam of your year, right? And this kind of a question appears. Now this is quite complicated. Now you must be thinking, oh, that must be same. So let's mark the answer. Don't do that. Always read a question like the way you are reading it for the first time. Always. So read the question you are reading it for the first time. This is a, remind this thing and keep that in your mind. Read the question like you are reading it for the first time. Okay. If you will have this mindset, you will never be able to perform any silly mistake. Fine. So always read the question like this is a fresh brand new question made for you. The examiner is not stupid, right? <laughs> they know students already have, uh, you know, practice this question. So even if they are putting the same kind of a question, they will change something. They will definitely change something. So make sure 
uh, that you will read the question like you are reading it for the first time so that the answer should also be fresh which is actually the fresh answer and fresh question right so always make sure don't have any pre uh, you know preconceived beliefs or something like that especially in the case of uh, physics and chemistry where you have to do the numerical questions all right next thing to keep in mind examine your test for mistake this is the most 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 important thing that i always tell students you know students are very fearful of the test very much fearful test means the test that you are already going if you are undergoing any coaching right or any wherever you are studying okay so there are certain tests that uh, the teachers they take right you know what student used to do they will give the first test they will perform better they will perform good and sometime best and they will be very happy then they will give the next one might be in the next test the chapter is quite difficult and they will not score good now their morale will go down and they will quit giving test they will quit giving it do not quit giving test test are for practice test are not you know don't uh, you know bind your ego with the test sometimes you will perform better sometimes you will perform good sometimes you will perform best sometimes the poor yes it's quite obvious even if you are a topper even if you are an average student or anyone right so what you have to do is you have to give test every test whatsoever or how much preparation you have done for that right and learn from the mistakes and learn from the mistake how will you learn for example there was a question in the question i made a mistake and what was a mistake i didn't read the statement carefully statement means in the options i did not read the statement carefully this can be one silly mistake okay another mistake that can be i was stuck in a 50 50 option i was stuck in the 50 50 option most of the students are always stuck in the 50 50 option they are those do, uh, those who don't revise so the solution is you had you didn't have done the revision nicely so i have i i know the mistake now i know what's the solution so after giving all the test sit back at home whenever you are you know marking your answers check out where have you committed the mistake and on every question which you have done wrong start writing where was your mistake and what can be a solution of it and make a copy of all those tests don't throw your test don't throw them make a copy of those test and your mistake and start working on the mistake rather than crying and sitting back work on the mistakes always work on the mistake if you will work on the mistakes you have made in your test you will not make that in your exam and this is what distinguish you from a topper or or distinguish any topper from an average student okay so always work on the mistake and make sure you are if you are making that in the test it's quite natural you know we have been groomed in a way that we are always taught oh don't miss don't make mistake you know but the fundamental is make mistakes where you can afford to make them but don't make mistakes on the things where you cannot afford to make them right so even if you are making the mistake start learning from them and don't repeat it you know the wise person is the one who learn from the mistake and don't repeat them again right so always work on your mistake you know come out with a great solution even if you're not getting them talk to your teachers talk to the person who has already gone through this and cleared the exam talk to them and start working on them but you should always have a you know uh, what you, what i always say a ledger of the mistakes <laughs> you understand what's ledger or a book 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 of a mistake where you keep on writing like yeah i have made this i have made this and start working on them because the question that are correct you already know them right you already know them you don't need to revise them again and again the only thing that you need to revise is where you were wrong so start working start working on all of those things start working on all of those things that you are not good at okay and this is how this is the most important thing if you will do that you will not make any mistake in your exam all right okay next thing bear in mind the directions for the online exam 
probably this should be the first thing. So many students, what they do, they, they, the question paper, they read the question paper, they were so happy. Oh, I know all the question. But one mistake they make is that they don't fill the instructions nicely or OMR. While they were filling the answers in the OMR, they committed the mistake. So filling of OMR should be right. So give a lot of time to the OMR. This is the most important thing because this is the one that's going there for your checking. Fill all the instruction nicely, right? Read all the instruction first of all. What are the instructions during the exam? What if some instruction get changed? Then nicely give some time, re uh, read the instruction, fill the OMR very nicely. And whenever you're filling the answer, also make sure you are in your complete state of your mind. Right? Sometimes students, you know, uh, don't fill the OMR answers, right? Or sometimes even they don't have a time to fill the OMR. They start, they, they give their all, a whole complete hours to the solving of the questions that they forget to fill up their OMR sheet. So even if you're not doing that, nobody is going to ask you whether you were able to solve the questions or not. So make sure you will fill the OMR on time as well. Right? So reading the instruction is one, one most important thing and OMR is like everything. This is what is going there for checking. If you don't fill it right, even if your roll number is wrong, everything is going into vain. So please stop making this most silliest mistake in the exam. Okay? Because we want that everything should go great. So these were some of the uh, tips and tricks by which you can, you know, actually avoid your silly mistakes and start working on them. Don't quit test. Keep on giving test as much as you can. More tests you give, more refined you get and more you learn from your mistake and you will not make any mistake in your exam. This is the only guru mantra that I can give you and that actually works. So start working on all of these things right now today and start practicing yoga if you can to keep your mind calm and I know you will definitely get what you deserve and what your goal is. All the best. Bye-bye.